Welcome to Oryx Learning. Today's lesson is on Unit 9, Volume and Surface Area, Lesson 2, Volume of Cones. What would have a greater effect on the volume of a cone, tripling its radius or tripling its height? If you'd like to know the answer to this question, please follow along and we'll revisit it at the end. A cone is a three-dimensional figure with one circular base connected by a curved surface to a single vertex. As we can see here, within our cone, we can have a radius, the height of the cone, and the slant height of the cone. When a composite solid includes cylinders and cones, you can find the volume by decomposing it into solids whose volume you know how to find. So if you were to get a composite like the one shown, you would break it up into a cylinder and find the volume of the cylinder, and a cone and find the volume of a cone, and then add their two volumes together. The volume V of a cone with radius R is one-third the area of the base B times the height H. So our formula is V equals one-third BH, where B is the area of the base, or V equals one-third pi R squared H. Pi R squared is the area of a circle, and the base of a cone is a circle, so the area of the base is represented by that pi R squared. Whenever substituting values into the formula for the volume of a cone, be sure to include the actual height, not the slant height. What is the height of the cone pictured below? Well, as we can see, the slant height would be 9 centimeters, the radius would be 3 centimeters, and the actual height of the cone is 7.5 centimeters. Choose the correct equation to calculate the volume of a cone with a radius of 14 centimeters, a slant height of 18 centimeters, and a height of 20 centimeters. So using our volume of a cone formula, V equals one-third pi R squared H, we can substitute in the values that we know. If R equals 14 and H equals 20, then our equation is V equals one-third pi times 14 squared times 20. Remember to use the actual height and not the slant height. Therefore, the answer matches up with the fourth answer choice. Find the volume of the cone below. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. Again, using the volume of a cone formula, V equals one-third pi R squared H, we can see in the diagram that the radius is three and the height is six. Substituting those values in, we get V equals one-third pi times three squared times six. Simplifying, it gives us V equals one-third pi times 54. Simplifying even further, 1 third times 54 gives us 18, so now our formula is V equals 18 pi. Multiplying 18 by pi and rounding to the nearest tenth, we'll get the volume of the cone is approximately 56.5 inches cubed. Find the volume of the solid pictured below. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. In this picture, we have a composite made up of a cylinder and a cone. So let's first find the volume of a cylinder, which has an equation of V equals pi R squared H. If the diameter of the cylinder is eight, then the radius is half of that, or eight divided by two, which is four. The height of the cylinder is also four. Substituting those values into the formula, we get V equals pi times four squared times four, or V equals 64 pi. The volume of the cone, V equals one third pi R squared H. We can use the same radius as in the cylinder, which is four, and the height of the cone is shown to be five. Substituting those values in, we get V equals one third pi times four squared times five. Simplifying, we'll get V equals one-third pi times 80. 
and simplifying further, we get V equals 80 over 3 pi. Now that we have the volume of both the cylinder and the cone, in order to find the volume of the solid, we can add the two volumes together. So the volume of the solid is 64 pi plus 80 over 3 pi, which is approximately 284.8 feet cubed. Now back to our essential question. What would have a greater effect on the volume of a cone? Tripling its radius or tripling its height? Usually tripling the radius has more effect since it's squared in the formula. However, depending on the length of the radius and the height, that could change. So remember, a cone is a three-dimensional figure with one circular base connected by a curved surface to a single vertex. We have the radius, the height, and the slant height all labeled. Make sure to use the actual height when substituting into the formula. And our formula is V equals one third BH, where B is the area of the base, or V equals one third pi r squared H. That is our lesson for today. Thank you for joining us and I hope you enjoyed it.